How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Vehicles. What we're looking at today is this 2020 Ford F-250 that we built for the Norwood Fire Department. They're going to be using this as their all-around utility truck. <laughs> Up top, we have a Enforce light bar. Uh, this is a single color model with uh, two takedowns for front scene. We've installed a sound off signal headlight flasher. And then on the front license plate, we have our intersection bracket with two sound off signal M powers in dual color on. What we've also done that's a little different on the vehicle too, is we've given them a winch hookup or a jumper cable hookup so that they want to jumpstart another vehicle. They can just take jumper cables, clip it in, and then they'll be able to jump that vehicle with the cables they don't need to pop the hood and then they can also uh, plug a winch in we also installed a, a Kurt manufacturing front receiver hitch this is so that they can hook up a uh, trailer receiver they can use it for any tie off points if they're going to use it as a tie down point uh, they can also put a, a winch receiver into it and then use that to power the winch so taking a look at the side, we've installed Luverne 7 inch grip step running boards that are great for uh, if you're wearing fire boots and they're covered in snow or mud, you can get in and out of the vehicle very easily and safely. We've got our light bar with our corner modules. The white is the alley light feature. We've installed 3 inch M powers in the side of the toolbox rack. Uh, these have a white override feature for additional scene lights. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we've installed a back rack with a 31 inch toolbox bracket. We've installed FireTech spotlights on the back of the back rack along with under the rear tailgate. They're wired into the upfitter switches and then they also come on automatically when the vehicle's put in reverse. Uh, small light, pack a, a great punch for lighting up the entire bed area or the rear work area. So if they're trying to pack hose or uh, backing up or just generally lighting up the area, they work out great. What we've also done to the uh, bed area is we've installed uh, an, an airplane style track system into the back so that they can have different tie down points in the bed of the vehicle. So that way if they're going to carry anything that's large or the bed's open and they want to ratchet strap it down, they don't have to use the traditional tie down points. This track system is adjustable from the front to the back and they have little eyelets that they can put in it and they can throw ratchet straps or anything else that they need to in it. And it works out great for transporting equipment. In the tail lights, we've installed sound off signal hideaway LEDs. In the brake light, we have just a single red. In the reverse lights, we have the red blue combination lights that are alternating between both sides. Also, in the back, since we have the regular receiver hitch, we've installed another power point for them so that if they're going to um, hook up jumper cables or if they're going to hook up a winch up to it, they have a power point. They just have to clip the winch in and then plug the power cable directly into that. But what we've done is we've brought their electrical distribution into the back here. We have the handheld siren and light controller, our breakout box for our lights, and then all of our power distribution starts here. And then it, all of our relays to tie in the electrical system. So what we've done in this vehicle uh, to maximize their space, if they're going to put somebody in this other seat here, we've done a handheld siren and light controller. Uh, this controls their siren and then the additional scene lights, such as their takedown, their left alley, or their right alley, and then we've given them the cruise feature. This will get mounted when the customer comes to pick up the vehicle. And then what we've also done is we've used, utilized two of their upfitter switches to add in additional controls for the rear scene lights. And then we've installed their portable charger and a flashlight.